Hi everybody, welcome to today's time capsule on Guatemala. On 27th of June 1954, the president of Guatemala, Jacobo Arvins Guzman, was overthrown by a mercenary movement organized and financed by the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States. Regarding this episode, many artists in different fields have expressed with anger that particular tragic incident. Today, I want to share how this episode of our history was portrayed in a famous painting done by the renowned Mexican painter Diego Rivera with the collaboration of a famous Guatemalan painter, Reina Lazo. This piece of art was completed in Mexico City on November 7, 1954. The dimension of this is 5 meters long by 2.5 meters wide. The mural is transportable and is currently housed in the Pushkin Museum of Fine Arts in Moscow. It was donated by Diego in 1956 and for many years it was considered to be lost until March 2000 when it was confirmed that it was in the cellars of the Pushkin Museum. The title of this work is intended to be an ironic allusion to a phrase by Foster Dulles, Secretary of State, after the aggression perpetrated by the CIA against the emerging Guatemalan democracy. Diego Rivera wanted to paint this picture to denounce these events, influenced by what Rina Lasso told him. He painted a bomb in the center with the image of the President of the United States, Dwight Eisenhower. Behind is Colonel Carlos Castillo Armas, bowing to Secretary of State John Foster Dulles. To his left is Alan Dulles, attorney for the United Fruit Company. In the center, the North American Ambassador John Perifoy giving money to Castillo Armas for the invasion. Two Guatemalan soldiers from the so-called Liberation Army on the right. Also to the right, the Archbishop of Guatemala, Monsignor Mariano Rosel Arellano, imparting the blessing to the aggressors. To the right of the Archbishop, Rina Lasso, in a red blouse, advances with the people resisting the aggression, and below, women and children massacred in a school. The original mural for the first time was exhibited at the Guatemalan National Palace on October 2010. During the whole month, more than 65,000 people came to admire this magnificent piece of art. Thanks for enjoying with us this exceptional story of our culture and history. Please share it with your family and friends.